Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and I saw something yesterday and I just had to make a video because it's so funny and it shows how people don't actually do any research or consider what realistic strength standards are for people based upon their age, weight, things like that, even in a competitive environment. Because I saw that and I'm like, really? Um, who in the hell at my age and weight class or weight category deadlifts over 700 pounds? I can't think of a single person. So I saw that and I'm like, well, I actually got interested. So I went to check and I checked the WPC's records for North America, all the American records, because that's the continent I live on, and I checked my possible classes, because I'm submasters. I'm turning 39 next week, so 33 to 39, I'm actually on the cusp of breaking out of that and getting a break in terms of powerlifting, even though I don't plan on competing again. And it turns out that for, the, again, the WPC, the biggest untested federation in the world, the North American record for the 198, which I could easily cut water to, would be 673 and the 220 class assuming i decided to gain a few pounds and still stay in and not try to cut water is actually i believe it was 685 or 686 so the north american record holders <laughs> for my classes can't even deadlift 700 in a full power cop so <clears throat> Where people come up with these standards is beyond me, and it's something that people need to realize. Just because you know that there's one or two guys out there in the world who do something, the f when you try to hold the rest of the world to that standard, who are actually very competitive in their sports, it really is foolish, and it shows ignorance and people don't research. And in fact, to explain to you guys how rare 700 plus deadlifts are for guys who don't weigh like 250 plus, Jamie Lewis, back a few years back set the all-time world untested record for the 181 class at 670 and a lot of you guys are like well he weighed you know only 181 yeah but he weighed 210 two weeks out before that meet he cut water and made the 181 and walked in and set the world record of 670 for his class so remember guys, just because you've seen some 250 or 300 pound or 350 pound guy do something on the internet, don't assume that that's realistic for everybody else in the world who's walking around who happens to train for strength. Because someone who's 300 pounds or 250 pounds in the best of the world doesn't mean that everyone walking around at 200 pounds should be able to just hit that automatically. That's just silly and unrealistic. So let's keep st strength standards real guys. All right guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.